we're going to wrap up our map making from yesterday. So some of you still haven't written your poem there, so I put the Sharpies out again. So you want to grab your Sharpie and just finish your poem on your little thing square that's now dried. Um, and we're going to do this. I'd like for you to just gather in trios right now. So get two people next to you. <laughs> two is good, too. Okay, so here's what we're going to do. In your duo or trio, go over, get your maps, right? Listen carefully, everybody, because there's, there's several instructions here. Get your maps. If you haven't finished your poem, just quickly write that down. Then share your map with each other, tell the story behind it, and read your poem. So each person, share your map, tell the story, read the poem. When you finish that, put your map and poem next to each other on the Cordell. Remember the Cordell is something we use in the classroom to exhibit work. We take stuff down, we put it up. Uh, if there's not, an, take the other things down and put these up, okay? And so when we're done, you'll have shared it and we've got it up on the Cordell. We're going to take about 15 minutes to do all that, okay? Okay, everybody, have fun. See you soon. So can everybody see this beautiful Cordell now? Look at this. Isn't it gorgeous? Um, so let's get a couple volunteers while we're in here to tell their story or and, and you know if you really heard a good one and you can kind of look at them and they're willing to do it or maybe just volunteer them anyway try to volunteer your partner or somebody in your group because you know let's get some good stories like share a couple of them Donna and just show us your map and tell us your story um, this is my mom and dad's house when I was growing up and you can't see the spring in the back but there are lots of trees and a big field out front and a barn and I am from iron skillets with the scent of fried potatoes and creamed tomatoes on the kitchen stove. I am from dust sprinkled in garden rows and the sweet scent of honeysuckle drifting through the open siding and the hayloft of the barn. I am pitch forks and sweat bees swarming around handles on a sweltering summer day. I am from Dawn and Carolyn, catching frogs in the spring and swinging from a tire swing on the creek bank. Mm, round of applause. Good. Oh, woo! <laughs> Not holding paper. <laughs> um, so this is me um, as a child, and I would always pick four-leaf clovers. Um, I was able to fill baskets full of them. Um, in, in like a setting. Um, and I still find them all the time. I could just be walking by and poof, I see one. <laughs> but I don't pick them. Um, so here's my little poem. I am from the clovers that lie beneath your feet. I am from the peaceful sounds of nature. I am from the excitement of finding something rare. I am from the parents who created someone unique. This is Fort Hill Christian Youth Camp that I go to every year. Before I was um, old enough to go to camp, my grandpa would take me down one night a week, so I got to spend time with my friends who were there. Um, I've been a camper ever since I was seven, and then once I turned 18 till now, I've been staff there. So it's just been an amazing place for me to go each summer. I am from church camp where friends are made and the love of God is shared. I am from crafts at the art shack and sitting under the big green tree. I am from silly songs and meaningful campfires. I am from making memories. So it's just a great ritual to do with your students, you know, to put the artwork up and have them come and look at it and have some people share. You can also uh, ask, you know, is there, are there any sort of maps that particularly that catch your attention? Um, is there something that catches your attention? Which one? This one here? Why does this catch your attention? No, one this one here? Why does that catch your attention? I kind of want to just know what it's about. Good. Who's, did anybody do this one? What, what's this about? Do you want to answer um, that? It's the pond that I swam in as a child. Um, cousins would always come, and we would spend our days in the pond. All day. Mm, beautiful. <laughs> beautiful. That's wonderful. Another one that catches your attention? Trees. Palm trees, right? This is this is Marietta. Is this in Marietta? <laughs> this is Marietta. Yeah. 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 Y
this is my house. Uh, who, who did the palm trees? I know who did the palm trees. Lisa did, did the palm trees. Yeah, what do you tell us about that? Um, when I was young, uh, we lived in the city and a lot of smog, a lot of congestion. And on the weekends, we would go to Atlantic City where we would go to the beach and just have a good time and get in the water and splash and just kind of like uh, kiss all our cares goodbye at least for a couple of days. So wow. that's where it's from. Are those palm trees? Those are palm trees. In Atlantic City? No, I just handed the palm trees. <laughs> it's all about the effect. You exactly. I never saw the palm trees in Atlantic City. It's your imagination. This is there not a stick, go. right? <laughs> okay, great. And the city was New York? Philadelphia. Great. Other, uh, other, any, let's do one more. Anybody else want to hear about one? That one up there. Yeah. With the person sitting here and the table. Is it a library? Mm -hmm. Anyone? Anyone? This one? Do you know which one I'm talking? Can you see this one? Oh, yeah. Sorry. That's yeah, mine. that's okay. Great. <laughs> peace in the library. I love the smells and I could get any book I wanted. You didn't have to worry about how much it cost. You just, I'd come out with a whole stack of them, you know, and read all of them. So it was just a good memory of, I had a single mom, so I always knew how much things cost. So going to the library and being able to get whatever mm. books looked interesting and about anywhere and anything, it was happy. What library did you go to? Um, I, I'm not from around here. I'm from Pittsburgh. So. That's good. So what's, what was, do you remember the name of the library? It was across from my elementary. Uh, no, that's okay. That's good. Pittsburgh library across from elementary school. And do you still read? <clears throat> yeah. Well, kind of. I have kids. I don't really read. <laughs> <laughs> books like up on my nights. Like, what's day on what's one of your favorite books of all time that we should all read? What's your favorite book? I am a kinder. I do. It can be a children's book or it can be an adult's book. What's one you recommend that we all all take a look at? Oh. Not to put you on the spot. Yeah, <laughs> I love lots of books. Um, you really like fairy tales right now, mm -hmm. my kids. Like, um, I have a big book of different fairy tales. And What's the story here? Someone wants to know about this one. This Washington County Public oh, Library. That's fine. That's um, funny. Another library. Where's that? Let's hear that one. That's fine. Yeah. Yeah. It was like where we were happy. I was an only child and I lived in a rural area, so there weren't a lot of kids around, so I just read a lot because it was something to do with myself. Mm. Mm. Great. Wonderful. Beautiful. Round of applause, everybody. Great. Let's all go back into the room and we'll do the next set of things.